What's up guys, Totally Dubbed here, and today I'm uh, showing you um, an app called uh, No LED. Um, as you can see here, I've received a message and a missed call, and the LEDs on the SGS um, during its lock screen uh, notify you. So imagine, you know, I go out of the room, I come back, and you know, I don't press the home button to find out, but I've just got my, my Samsung just there. I'll know straight away that I've had a missed call, a voicemail, an email, anything that I want. Anyway, so um, how well how it works is um, let's clear these. Um, you've got first of all a widget over here that you can tap on. It says no LED uh, is off, and you tap it back on. No LED is on. I'm just going to turn down the brightness quickly of my uh, of my screen so that it's easier for you guys to uh, to see. There we go. It's much better. So um, it's uh, free to download. Um, on the market and uh, once you get it obviously you've got um, an array of uh, customization so you toggle notifications for example you've got SMS, MMS, miss call, Google talk, voicemail uh, charging indicator even um, and when you click on monitored apps you'd have to um, click accessibility which uh, basically when you click when you click monitored apps it will forward you straight to over here and then you'll have to enable accessibility and enable no LED so once you enable that um, that will allow you to go into uh, different applications for example I can um, say that my email app my the actual stock email app I want uh, notifications for that so when I put that on um, and I and you know I'll just go back it will um, give me there's no LED uh, notifications for the email app um, the icon it will use is the default. In other words, the email over here is the SGS2 one, and if I get an email with an SGS from well, on my um, SGS, you'll get the SGS2 email app um, icon, not those little cool LEDs. So um, just uh, so you're aware of that. Um, and icons um, here, you can see other. This is what you want to enable. So this is basically enabling them. Uh, so, for example, I've just got MS, um, SMS, uh, missed calls, and voicemail. Well, I'll enable that. But um, when you click other icons, that's when it enables all the email apps and things like that. So, for example, if I put other icons, test, you can see I've got voicemail there, I've got uh, not, um, missed call and uh, message. And what I mean about the email app, for example, so let's go find the email app, there it is. Let's put eBay in there as well. Let's see if it does anything there. Icons test. There you go. You can see you got the eBay. Um, I'm not sure if you're able to see properly, but you can see these ones are different clearly from these ones. Um, that's the SGS2 one, and that's the eBay icon. So you get exactly the ones that you've got um, in your app drawer. Um, and colors can be customized as well. There's you know loads of things: saturation, value, the actual color of it. Um, all can be um, customized, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, however, you know all the all the other ones will be falling under one category, so just bear that in mind. There is also a battery saving feature, which uh, basically allows you to well save a little battery if you want. Um, I don't, I haven't really used anything, but um, here you go. Yeah, there's blink, so it blinks the screen, so to speak. Um, but yeah, if you just go through them, you'll see what I mean. Time and sleep is pretty cool. Um, I've put it on as um, enabled sleep, so at 1 a.m. Uh, the no LEDs will um, cease from appearing because obviously it's just going to drain my battery. Although it's really little bit, uh, it'll be draining my battery, and well, there's no need of any e um, any notifications coming out at 1 a.m. Um, so you can see my normal time is 1 a.m. and 10 a.m. over there. And you can also have a vibrate and audio reminders, and vibrate has options as well, uh, such, such as different vibrations. Hopefully you could hear that, but yeah, you can customize that as well. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. And yeah, you can enable that and disable that. So pretty pretty simple stuff. Um, over here, you've got um, well in. In MISC, you've got um, auto start, which you'll probably want. 
um, and there's different um, options. Uh, it's all up to you in terms of what you want. So just go through them and see um, see what you want and see what you like. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Uh, it was a short video on no LED, and I'm just going to show you it in action. So I'm going to turn off my uh, my phone, and I'm going to send myself a, a message using my girlfriend's phone. <coughs> yeah, that's my girlfriend telling me I suck at using her phone. So as you can see, the email, uh, notification popped up, and after that, the uh, the no LED notification popped up as well. So as you can see, it's uh, moving around, and a ref the the interval is three seconds. So every three seconds, it moves, so it doesn't burn an LED um, on your um, uh, Super AMOLED screen. However, you can set it to different intervals, so one second changing, five seconds, ten seconds changing. The longer it's worse, the shorter it's better. Um, so yeah. Alright, hope you enjoy that guys. See you later. Bye bye.